assalamu alaikum friends uh, we have been studying about so many different type of sorting algorithms today i am going to teach you about counting sort this is a very simple sorting algorithm you don't do not need to worry you simply have to go with me and you will learn with the help of an example that how does counting sort works so the first thing about this sorting algorithm is that we are not going to do any comparisons you remember that in all previous sorting algorithms like quick sort merge sort we used to compare the numbers with one another so right now first thing about counting sort is that you need not to do any sort of comparisons so okay now what we going to do if you are not going to do the comparisons so the first thing is that you will be given with an input and you have to know what is the size of your input second thing you have to uh, be knowing that what is the range so in the question if you are given in the exam to perform with the help of counting sort so these two values will be given to you and they are important right we are saying that input size is represented by n and the range is represented by k now let's take an example we are given with this type of an array which has these numbers so we can see from this array that the size of our input is 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we are given that the range is 5 uh range means that till which number the numbers are exceeding you can see that in this array the range is actually 4 we are not having any number larger than 4 but the question has said that the range is till 5 maybe in some other step or in some other example they want to add one more number uh, which can be 5 so they have kept the range till 5 so this is a given uh, information in the question and this is this information might be given in the question or if it is not given you can simply count it from the array you will count the number of elements in the array and that will simply be your input size okay done now we are knowing these two inputs so let's proceed further a very simple step i'm going to do here first of all i have uh, i have drawn this uh, you can say extra memory location or you can say an extra array for sorting and this array i am going to call that this is my range this is my range array right and you know the size of the range is 5 so i have made 1 2 3 4 5 I have made five pockets in this array, so there are basically one, two, three, four, five rows uh, in this array. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I will look onto the first element of my given array, and I will see how many times. In fact, I should use the word that I will count. Right? I will count how many number of times this first element is appearing. so it is appearing one time it is appearing two times and it is appearing three times so 1 2 3 i have written 3 against 2 because 1 2 3 4 5 these are the numbers which are representing that yes these are the numbers which are going to be present in my array so i am counting the frequency or i am counting the count of all these numbers so 2 is appearing 3 times so i have written 3 why to forget one <laughs> don't forget one so how many times one is appearing one and two so one is appearing two times so in uh, front of one i have written two so now let's count for three how many times three is appearing three is appearing only one time okay how many times four is appearing four is appearing only one time and what is the count of 5 so as i initially told you in the beginning 5 is not given to me in my given array so the count of 5 is 0 so basically we have to count how many times an element is appearing this is the basic theory of this counting array in the beginning i told you that we are not going to do any comparisons and the question was in your mind then what are we going to do so basically we have in this sorting array we have to count how many times an element is appearing now we will traverse this array k this array is called k so we are going to traverse this array k from top to bottom and we will write down the elements same number of times as it count 
so we are going to traverse it from the top to the bottom so if we go on to the top first of all we get one right so we will write this element one two times one two now from top to the bottom position to the second position there is two so we will write two three times two 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 and then we will move to the next position of this uh, array k we are have three over here we will write three how many times we will write three equal to the number of its count so it's one so we will write three just one times we will write four just one times and we will not write five because its count is zero so basically this is our output so by traversing this uh, k array which was the range array and writing the number of elements from top to bottom in the same number of time as was the count of that number we have got this output and this is the sorted array now we have sorted this this was our input array and with the help of counting sort we have been successfully able to uh, sort it so after sorting you can uh, you might be asked in your exam that what is the time complexity and what is the space complexity so if you want to focus on time complexity you can see that first of all you had to traverse your input array whose size was n and secondly you had to traverse your range array whose size was k so basically your time complexity is the sum of these two sizes of the array so you will simply add them and what is the space complexity you needed some extra space in the range array this was not given to you you needed an extra memory location in your program in your machine in which you are doing this so this is your extra space the space complexity is just equal to the size of your range array so this is how uh, friends you are going to do the counting so i hope you will understand it if you have any questions you can write them into the comment section uh, i will be very happy if you can like and subscribe to this video and you can write in comments if you want to learn about some more arrays thank you allah